by Dr. Henneke. Dr. Henneke just died about a month ago, okay? And he was, this system was developed in 1983, and it gives a score of one to nine to several different areas of the horse, okay? That I'm going to talk about. So we're talking about fat deposits in these particular areas. The areas are the ribs, okay? The withers, behind the shoulder, She's, she is not on a diet, okay? She hasn't missed any meals. I can tell that for sure. The crest of the neck, okay? The lumbar area, so the loin. You're okay, babe. And the tail head, okay? The tail head is the insertion of the tail to the buttocks of the horse. Did I mention belly? Okay, because we don't care about the belly of the horse. Because a mare can be nine months pregnant, 11 months pregnant, and she can be a body condition score of a very poor two or three, okay? We couldn't care less about the belly of the horse, okay? Belly of horses, they become huge if the horse eats a lot of hay, if they're out at pasture, if they eat bad quality hay, very fibrous, the, you know, just, I mean, you have uh, many, many feet of gut in the, stom in the stomach, in the abdomen, and with a lot of hay in there, I mean, you can see why. So that's why in training horses, okay, horses that need to clear a jump this big, sometimes you limit a little bit the amount of hay and you feed more um, other kinds of concentrate because you, the horse can be happy and fine and healthy with plain grass or hay, but they may not be able to clear a jump. Does that make sense, guys, because of their belly, okay? Uh, so the first thing that I see I look at the horse and if I can see ribs, okay, that automatically is a score below a five. Remember, it's one to nine. If I can see ribs, it's a score below a five. This horse, I cannot see ribs, so I know she's at least a five, okay? You cannot do body condition scoring without touching the horse. You can from, you know, by looking and say that horse is above a five or that horse is below a five, but you can't give the final score unless you touch the horse, okay? And then I'm gonna go and touch these areas and you're going to see on the handout that I'm going to give to you that you're going to assign scores according to uh, what you feel, okay? So a five says ribs are not easily seen. They're not seen, but they are easily touched, okay? So you can feel the ribs, but you cannot see. And then the score increases up until nine. If you cannot, some horses, I doubt that they have ribs. Okay, because you cannot touch whatsoever, okay? This one, and the thing is also, don't go here, don't go here. It's always the same spot, which is right here. This one, I know she has ribs somewhere. I'm pretty sure. I can kind of feel that there is hardness in there, but I can't really discern each rib, okay? I would give this horse a score of at least a six on her rib cage, okay? Behind the shoulder, do you guys see how it's jiggly? This is not muscle, this is fat, okay? It's very jiggly here, the shoulder should be flush. Okay, the ideal score of a horse, of any performance horse is a five, okay, a five. Some warm bloods, a six is okay. Endurance horses, I can live with a four. I've seen endurance horses that are a score of three and that's pitiful, okay? You cannot run 100 miles without any energy. I mean, you can probably run 100 miles. You're never going to place first or second. You're going to place last, okay? Um, did you guys come to the WAG and saw the Dubai horses? They were all beautiful, okay? They were fit. They were, you know, you could see their ribs, but they were definitely a four, maybe four and a half, okay? And they all won like first, second, third, and, and fourth, okay? Um, so here I would give this horse a score of a seven, maybe even more, maybe at even an eight right here. Uh, on the withers, you have to be careful because some horses, because of their conformation, have high withers and because of their breed, and some horses do not, okay? So it depends on that. So can you guys tell me breeds of horses that have high withers? Thoroughbreds. What else? Arabians have zero withers. They are like barrels. Saddlebreds will have withers sometimes. Sometimes they're very flush also like a barrel. Standardbreds will have withers. Um, 
Walking horses, depending on the, on the walking horse, they may have withers. Sometimes they're just very fat too, okay? So quarter horses, do they have, are they known for having high withers or not? They're not, okay? So Arabs, uh, quarter horses, these breeds of horses generally don't have. So you don't, are not going to give a nine to a horse just because of the breed that they were born with, okay? They cannot help themselves. They were born a paint horse, okay? So this horse, she has some fat on her withers. I would give her a six on her withers. It could be a little bit more thin. Uh, her neck... She does have a little bit of crest on her neck, and if you guys want to touch her later, you can see that there is a little bit of crest. Here she has a neck of maybe a six and a half or a seven. Uh, her loin, the definition of the loin is that it has to be flush, to be a five. She actually, if there is a ridge, okay, that obviously be, it's below a five, and if there is a valley, okay, that's obviously above a five, okay, <laughs> accordingly. <laughs> And then we go to the, uh, to, the, to the tail insertion of the horse, and you can see some, and this, the tail insertion, some horses have just ugly tails. Have you guys seen those horses? Ugly tail insertion, I mean, you're not going to give them points off because their tail, they can't help it. You need to be direct and objective and see if there is fat accumulation around, around their tail heads, okay? This horse has an overall body condition score of about a, six and a half to a seven, okay? So she can afford to lose a couple of pounds. She's not that bad, okay? 